How's it going everybody? <clears throat> Welcome back to Booze Review. So, we're going to be continuing today from the Brewdog uh, pack. Now, which one was it? It was the 12 Beers of Christmas. Tiny Rebel had this uh, it's secret song or whatever it was. I can't remember. Uh, so, for today's episode, we've got kind of a repeat. So, <clears throat> we've already tried the Hazy Jane and the Lost Lager. Um, however, this one is the Hazy Jane, which has got guava in it, and the Lost Lager, which has manga, which I am super excited for. Um, now, I enjoyed that Lost Lager, and it's, I can't really remember the Hazy Jane, I think I enjoyed it. Um, I've, I've been doing that many reviews and things like that, but I definitely remember the Lost Lager was nice. Uh, so, I'm super excited to try it with um, mango in it, because mango is a nice flavour in pretty much anything anyway. Guava, I'm not so sure I've actually tried anything with guava in, to be quite honest. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving it a go. And then the third one is Elvish Juice, and it's a grapefruit-infused IPA. Um, so, what I'm expecting with this one is probably quite sour, because grapefruits are really bitter and, and, and not really sour, yeah, bitter and tangy so that's kind of what i'm expecting now i'm going to review this one first and then we're going to go on to these two so i'm going to save the lost log to last so i think i'm going to enjoy that one the most so brew dogs alvis juice let's have a look at it there we go right what are we thinking for color okay i wasn't sure they were going to go with any different kind of colors or anything like that but no it pours really nicely. It's got a nice bit of foam to it. Okay, wow, yeah. So the can definitely had the grapefruit there. So what what would I say this was? An IPA. So this is an IPA. It's 5.1%. Yeah, you can tell it's an IPA. But there's definitely that... Um, that... Um, what's the word? Yeah, that grapefruit there. Let's give it a try. Okay. Yeah. So it is a bit bitter, to be honest. It, it, like, there's that flavour. That, that, they've done well with the grapefruit, is what I'm getting at. Because it's not a, <coughs> not a really overpowering taste. However, <coughs> sorry, I think I'm coming down with something again. Um, however, it's definitely there. You can taste that it's... It's bitter. Um, it's like when you first sip it, or drink it, whatever, it's all there. All the grapefruit like flavours, along with this like kind of like a wheaty, barley kind of taste. Um, but then as it goes down, it kind of dull, dulls down and goes away a little bit. But then the aftertaste is the bitterness of like a grapefruit, not like a bitter as in the drink, just the bitterness of the grapefruit, which I think they've done really well with, to be honest here, because grapefruits are very strong in flavour. So they've done really well to to not do this too strong, but to also it's there and it's noticeable. So yeah, I like that. I do like that because uh, I'm not the biggest grapefruit fan in the world. I don't mind them, <coughs> but. You know, it's purely the bitterness that kind of puts me off them a bit. But they've done really well with that. Uh, yeah, I'm the kind of guy that cuts a grapefruit in half and whacks it in the sugar bag, you know. <laughs> but yeah, no, they've done really well with that. Now, a guava. Um, I could have looked this up, but chose not to. So this is the 5%... Um, it's the Hazy Jane. I can't remember if that was just an IPA or whatever, but... Oh, it is. It's a, it's a New England IPA. So yeah. Um, there's nothing on it about what to expect with the flavours. Um, and I'm really going into this one blind because I'm, I've heard of guava obviously before, but it's not really something we pick up in our shops. Like we don't. I, I, I can't say that I've ever been seen and gone, oh, guava there. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Okay, it's nice and light. It's a lot lighter than the other IPA we've just tried, which I can't remember where I put the can to. Oh, it's here. So it's a lot. Uh, lighter than the Elvis Juice IPA. So they've gone for a different colour here. I don't know if that's based on guavas are quite light, but it don't, well, nah, don't make sense. It smells quite nice. Let's let's give it a swig. Oh, 
Ooh, that was really good. I'm gonna take these off to keep sliding down my face and it's no me, never mind you guys. It tastes really good. What does it taste like? Well, I'm guessing guava. But I can't really compare it to anything. There's nothing that I can say. Oh, it's really similar to this fruit or... I don't know. It's nice to help. Like, there is no... I can't compare it to anything in terms of a fruit or a fruity drink because it doesn't. There isn't a comparison. But it's beautiful. The IPA really comes through too. Like, there's still that boozy taste. But that is really, really nice. Yeah, no, I'm really happy with that. So, so far so good. It's hard to, to say which one I'd prefer out of those two. Because they're very different. Obviously, that one's a lot more bitter, but that's because it's great root. This one's, I'd say more. It's, it's more on the sweet side than the bitter side, which, don't get me wrong, it's not a sweet drink. It's not like sugary or anything like that. It's really nice though. It, it tastes great. It tastes really good. Um, so I'm really happy with them too. Now this is the one that I have been waiting for. The one I've been more excited about. Um, the Brewdog Lost Lager, which like I said, I have enjoyed in the pre one of the previous reviews that we gave it a go on. Um, now this is mango. And I am quite a big fan of mango in general, whether it's just the fruit or... <sighs> not speaking twice now. Whether it's just the fruit or anything flavoured like mango. <laughs> you know, like they did the mango Pepsi not long back and I was all over that. Uh, I've had mango rum. And, it's real, and that were really good. So, let's get it poured and have a look at it. So, it's, put, it's looking very similar to um, the original. They've not changed the colour. Still got a little bit, it's like a little bit cloudy, but you can still see it's like carbonated the same. It just looks pretty much the same. And not really getting anything through from the smell. Maybe the, like the slightest hint. It smells really wheaty though. That's more than anything. Right, anyway, here we go. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So yeah, there's that lovely taste of, of the um, of the lager. Game. It is so wheaty. I can't even get explain that enough. Like, but not in a bad way. Like, the wheat is really nice. I'm enjoying this more than I did last time. And that's just based on the lager. But then I'd say there's a hint of mango. It's not strong. But it's there. It's there. Uh, but I would say it's a hint. It's not a massive taste of it. It's not like booming out. But the wheat really is. It's like I can't get. I can't stress it enough. It's very very wheaty. Um, I take more lost lager infused with <laughs> wheat a bit and a hint of mango. But. No, it's good. I do like it. I, I do enjoy it. Fucking hell, it's making me all bloody gassy. It's um, the drinking and the talking. It does me on every episode. But, I have to say, I enjoyed the grapefruit one a lot. And definitely the um, the guava. I think if I had to choose and rank them one to three, which I do usually like to do, I'm going to have to go with uh, the guava. Close second is the grapefruit. So that's the Hazy Jane, sorry, I should say it all. The Hazy Jane Guava. Close second is the Elvis Juice Grapefruit Infused IPA. And then in third place, not a close third place, I'd say. I'd say, like, you know, it, it, it was an easy third place, was the Lost Lager in Mango. Now, that's not taking anything away from it. It is a nice drink and it's enjoyable. But I always go on what it's kind of promising on the can kind of thing. And it, it's promising a mango drink. And there's only the slightest tiny little hint of it. Like I said, not not a, not a bad drink, very enjoyable. However, 
when you're buying a drink with the expectation of, oh, this is going to be a ma really mango-y flavoured lager. Uh, so if you were to buy just like a crate of them, you'd, you'd probably be disappointed. Um, but no, the other ones were absolutely nail on the head. Perfect. Um, can't complain about them even slightly. Um, but yeah, that's it. So this was um, the, the Brew Dogs 12 Years of Christmas again. And what, <laughs> I don't even know what month this is going up. It might January. Um, so, yeah, um, better late than never. But obviously, these aren't Christmassy drinks. These were just purchased at Christmas. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, obviously, if you did, drop me a like. Drop me a subscribe if you're not already. It's all massively appreciated. And drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these or any of them from the previous videos? I will leave some links up as we go through to the other videos. Um, and just let me know. And let me know if there's anything you think I should try. Uh, but definitely subscribe and hit that bell because we've got some really fun ones coming up soon. We've got, um, I think it's Tiny Rebel, we've got the uh, Jam Donut, uh, we've got Marshmallow, uh, Beer, Lager, um, Peaches and Cream. So we've got some really fun. I have really have saved the best for last. So yeah, check that out and uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye.